What's up guys, it's Mike. We are headed to the office this morning. But blam What? I showed you the car. Don't don't put it on pause. I'll show you again. Watch. There's the car. What do you guys think? Tire lettering. Okay, so let me explain myself a little more and we'll take a closer look at this. But these are the tire lettering that I developed. It's gonna be called taggertires.com. So make sure you guys check that one out, all right? Doesn't it look like a race car sitting there? Vroom, it's so fast. So if you were following me on Snapchat today, you guys would have seen the tires earlier. So here are the details. Tagyourtires.com is the website, and right now it's currently locked. So if you guys want to take a quick peek at it, go over there, sign up for the mailing list, and I'll let you know as soon as the product is ready to be dropped and shipped. But right now you can only view the front page. So it's taggertires.com and I don't want to make this vlog all completely about it and that would be a completely separate video for you guys. But I can tell you briefly that I've put so much time into this. My car has had it for over two months and other cars have had it way longer. It's been a long time. So I actually had all the stuff before I even told you guys about it, before anyone even knew about it. So I'm trying to head back to the office and this is California traffic right here. See, this is what I have to deal with, guys. You guys sure you guys want to live in California? It's always like this, depending on certain hours. So yeah, there's the car. Doesn't that look cool? Looks like it's going really fast, but it's not going anywhere. There you go. It comes in a kit. It's going to be about $25 for 16 letters. This is going to be 16 letters, so it's plenty. You can buy four kits. I have to do four kits in order to complete the whole set. Good. I like it. It's made by me. So you guys who know, you guys get perfection on my side. But yeah, guys, you know, it's a huge relief to be able to show you guys the car now. I don't have to hide it every single time anymore. I'm going to answer a few quick questions because I know I'm going to be bombarded with questions later if I don't answer them right now. Okay, TaggerTires.com. TaggerTires.com. I'm going to say it until you guys remember it. It's developed by me. Tiger Tires is mine and it's patented. So it's a great, great technology. So what makes mine different from others is I've crazy tested it on my car and other cars along with a lot of testing off of cars and we tortured the crap out of it. All this time it's held up. The car has been great and what I'm doing completely different is I'm taking a non-corporate approach to this. I'm going to be open and honest with you guys. The pictures that you guys will see in the videos you guys will see and I'm going to show you guys is not Photoshop pictures. It's going to be real honest pictures of how the tires look. And on a separate video on a separate date, I'm going to show you my tattered tires lettering on my car two and a half months not washed and to show you guys exactly how it looks for that long and a bunch of different road conditions. I'm not going to show you the most pristine pictures because that doesn't do any justice. It doesn't actually give you the consumer the idea of how it's going to last in your car and that's my approach. Corporate approach, they're going to show you the best pictures they have on the nicest cars they have. You're going to get average Joe me have on a Subaru that I drive every day and I abuse pretty much in road conditions, especially for this testing. So you guys are gonna get to actually see how it looks two and a half months, it not being washed. I'm super excited about it. I was really nervous about telling you guys and I'm like really relieved that you guys know now. So that's gonna be enough of TaggerTires.com, but go check it out. Sign up on the website for a mailing list. That way you guys know when it's ready, okay? Okay, I think it's uh, time to fold some shirts and get back to work, ready? Let's get to work. Here, take a closer look. Car's dirty, so don't mind that. Look at that. Primal and Smurf from Drebrex on the other side. And the same thing on the front. Car looks like it's going a million miles per hour. Okay, we finished the Q&A, and now we're headed to the office. Let's get back to work. You guys have to check out this Chevy Aveo, I think it's called. Look at them wheels on there. That's pretty cool. It's different. It sticks out a little bit. Interesting, huh? That's pretty cool. That's funny. The owner of that blue car rolled his window down, slowed down traffic to tell me how cool those tire lettings were. I told you guys. All right, guys, that was a few solid hours. There's the car again. If you guys want to see the pretty, pretty car, let's walk up to it because I know you guys want to see a more detailed look. There it is. There it is. Look at that. What are those? Pretty. So the general plan for the car is to put the primal decals on it. As you guys can see, there's no decal in the back window. Look, there used to be a decal back there. I removed it. Um, I didn't want anyone to know it was my car while I was driving around testing these little things on the car. So now it's time to put it back. And actually, we'll make a how-to videos for you guys. 
how-to video for you guys on how to put decals on the window because I know some of you guys are having a little bit of problem. It's actually really easy. It just takes a little bit of patience and time. Oh, by the way, I'm going to Sacramento. So by the time you see this video, I'll be on the road already. So if you guys are in Sacramento, let me know because uh, I'll be on Snapchat. You guys can find me there. Maybe we can meet up and hang out. But I will not be taking the Subaru, of course, because we are taking the little dogs with us. So we have to take the Range Rover in order to fit all the dogs and all our luggage while we're in there. The original plan was to leave today, but unfortunately we are really late with packing and packing your stuff along with our own luggage. So we will not be leaving today. We'll be leaving probably tomorrow around four in the morning. So in the meantime, I'm gonna head home, edit this video, and then we're gonna package all of our stuff and then we can start driving over there. But we'll probably leave around four in the morning, to be honest. Interesting question is I still get this question often is I'm, if I'm still buying a hatchback, STI. I'm not buying a hatchback anymore. I'm gonna keep this WRX for now until maybe something great happens later with Subaru. But as of right now, I will be keeping my WRX sedan with all the stuff on it already. But to answer your question, guys, I'm not getting an STI and I'm not getting a hatchback anytime soon. So the search for the STI hatchback, the um, unicorn that we called it, is no more. I'm getting on the freeway. Actually, no, I'm on an official racetrack, so I'm authorized to do this acceleration. Yeah, see, that was an official racetrack. That's why I was authorized to do that um, speed contest with myself. Yes. And that's the story. I'm sticking to it. I've been kind of lead foot lately in my car. I'm getting 17.1 miles per gallon and there's only been about 25 miles on this tank right now. So I honestly probably need to slow it down just a tad bit. But I can't help it. I've been working on my legs so they're so heavy, you know, bam. I'm just kidding. My legs, I can't really work out because my knees really, really swell up when I do try to work out my legs. So sad. Well, I'm on an official racetrack again, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the proper acceleration. Whee! Oh. Okay, all right. That was cool. That was kind of like, that was about a half throttle, maybe three quarters of a throttle not all the way floor to the ground. Well, that didn't help at all. I'm getting now 16.8 miles per gallon. Yeah, maybe I should uh, definitely slow it down more. Well, uh, that was like literally a minute later. I'm 17.1 now. Man, I gotta stop working on all these legs. These leg days are making my foot heavy. That's why I'm getting such terrible gas mileage. That's my story and I'm sticking to that one too. If you guys followed my Snapchat today, you guys saw that it was a beautiful, beautiful day. And all of a sudden, it just started raining really crazy. So I took some time to record something artistic for you guys. Kind of want to show you guys since you guys are watching my vlog, which means you guys are one of my more dedicated viewers. Ready? Let me show you guys. Ready, set, go. That's kind of like my first trial of like something artistic. I'm literally standing in the middle of my pool, look, surrounded by water. So now we are actually gonna pack, sleep, in the morning we're headed to Sacramento. So the next few days you'll see me uh, vlog in Sacramento. Ready? Talk to you guys later. Thank you guys. The Subaru hatchback. It's not a hatchback, it's a wagon. The Subaru wagon. So this car is like the 2015. The Subaru hatchback. It's not a hatchback. 
It's a wagon. The Subaru wagon. So this car is like the 